Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how you can log into Zoom using your Wagner credentials. Now there are two ways that we're going to talk about in this video. One is going to be logging in using the Wagner Zoom web portal and the other way is going to be using the desktop client that you'll download when you join a Zoom meeting. If this is the first time logging in with your Wagner credentials, you want to make sure that you log into the Wagner web portal at least once before logging into the desktop client. This will ensure that your account has been validated. So the first way we'll go over is using the browser and you can see I have Google Chrome here opened up. Now I prefer to use Chrome and it is recommended that you would use Chrome when you're using Zoom. That's not to say that you can't use other browsers. It's just that Chrome and Firefox have the best outcome in terms of using Zoom. So if you can use either one of those browsers, I would recommend doing that. I'm in Chrome, so I'm going to go ahead and go to wagner.zoom.us, and you're just going to write that directly in your web address box here at the top, and you're going to see this page show up where you're going to click sign in. Once you click sign in, you're going to be prompted to enter your Wagner College Zoom credentials, which is going to be the same as your all access pass. So once you type that in, you're going to click log in, and it's going to take you to the main page here where you can then continue and schedule your meetings. Now the other way that we want to talk about is using the desktop client. So if I expand it here for a moment, you'll see that this is what it looks like. And there are a bunch of features that you can use here to start meetings, join meetings, and see previous meetings, any of that information. But in this video, we're going to talk about the most important thing, which is going to be making sure you're logged in with your Wagner credentials in this desktop application. Now, before I show you that, I just want to show you where you can get this desktop client if you don't have it yet. If you've joined a Zoom meeting or you facilitated a Zoom meeting, you would have had to have downloaded this already, and it can be found where you, all the programs are on your computer. But if by any chance you're watching this video before you've had a chance to do any of that, you can find it by going into where your web portal is. And this is the example I'm showing you, but I'm sure you can find it directly from Zoom's website. But I'm logged in with my web portal, and if I scroll down under download and I choose meetings client, it will take me directly to the Zoom client that I could just download right to my computer. Once that's downloaded, it's going to look again like this, and this is where you're going to go to make sure you're logged into your Wagner account. Click on the thumbnail in the upper right hand corner and you should see your email address here. If you don't see that and you need to sign in, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click sign out so you can see what that looks like. And if you want to sign in, you can click sign in with SSO and you're going to be asked to put your company domain. So you would just type in Wagner and it already puts zoom.us. Click continue and you're going to be taken to the same Wagner page. Now for me, I had already logged in, so it didn't bring me there, but you would put in your all access pass and then it would allow you to log in. And once again, I'm logged in here with my Wagner account. So those are the basics of how to log in using your Wagner credentials.